Welcome to another IFRS Electional Fund Service. It is an initiative of OJ Inspiration Limited. It is dedicated to providing complementary and supplementary education on international financial reporting standards IFRS through a multiple choice question and answer approach. It is intended to make learning or intellectual assurance fun. In this session, we shall be considering 10 questions to which the answers have been provided on IAS 34. This is the standard on interim financial reporting. Viewers and subscribers have 30 seconds to select or choose the answer to each question. Please enjoy it. Question number one. A company commenced business on September 1, 2022, and makes up its accounts to December 31 of every year. How may its complete financial statements for the year ended December 31, 2022 be described? A, four month period financial statements. B, interim financial statements. C, condensed financial statements. D, quarterly financial statements. E, commencement financial statements. The time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number one is a four month financial statements. The period covered by the financial statements is the entire period of his operation for that year. The statement do not qualify as interim financial report as the period covered is not part of a full financial year. All other options apart from that in option A are inappropriate to describe the financial statements. A is answer to question number one. Question number two. ABC Limited presents its interim statement of financial position as at my 31, 22 for a quarter while its year end is due in 30 every year. What is the comparative year date for the statement of financial position presented alongside this quarterly statement of financial position? A, March 31, 2021. B, June 30, 2021. C, December 31, 2021. D, March 31, 2022. E, February 28, 2021. The time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number two is B. June thirty, twenty twenty one. Interim state of financial position is presented as of the end of the current interim period and as of the comparative end of the immediately preceding financial year. B is the answer to question number two. Question number three. XYZ PLC presents its third quarter statement of financial position as at May 31, 2022. What is the date of the comparative statement of financial position presented in the interim report? A, June 30, 2021. B, June 30, 2022. C, May 31, 2022. D, December 31, 2021. E, April 1, 2021. Time counts. Time up. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number three is A, June 30, 2021. In interim financial statements, statement of financial position as of the end of the current interim period and the comparative statement of financial position as of the end of the immediately preceding financial year are presented. Since the third quarter of this company ends in March 31, it implies 
that June 30 is the year end. Hence, the June 30, 2021 date as attained for the immediately preceding financial year. A is the answer to question number three. Question number four. EFG PLC commenced operation on July 1, 2021, making up its financial statement to December 31 of every year. It presented its interim statement of financial position for its first quarter of 2022. What is the date of the comparative statement of financial position presented in the first quarter interim reporting of 2022? A, August 1, 2021. B, May 31, 2021. C, September 30, 2021. D, December 31, 2021. E, June 30, 2021. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number four is D, December 31, 2021. The basis for this answer is as stated in the basis to the answers to questions two and three earlier provided. D is the answer to question number four. Number five, an external operation in January 22, making up its accounts yearly to May 31. The competitive state of production presented in its first quarter interim reporting of a certain year is dated May 31, 2023. What is the case of the state of financial position of the current first quarter period? A, May 31, 2023. In two and thirty, two and two, 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 Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number five is E, August 31, 2023. For a company with a mate at one year end, the end of the first quarter is August 31. Therefore, the date for the state of financial position for the current first quarter is August 31, 2023. E is the answer. To question number five. Question number six. JKL PLC operates an accounting year that ends on December 31. It is to present its state of compressive income for the second quarter ended June 30, 2023. What period or period will be covered for the current interim period in the status of compressive income? A. January 1, 2023 to March 31, 2023. B. April 1, 2023 to June 30, 2023. C, April 1, 2023 to June 30, 2023. And January 1, 2023 to June 30, 2023. D, January 1, 2023 to March 31, 2023. And January 1, 2023 to June 30, 2023. E, April 1, 2022 to June 30, 2022. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number six is C. April one, twenty twenty three to June third, twenty twenty three, and January one, twenty twenty three. So June 30, 2023. 
For the current interim state of compressive income, the periods covered are the period of the current quarter and the period beginning from the current year to the end date of the quarter being reported. C is the answer to question number six. Question number seven. BDC PLC's accounting year end is April 30 every year. It is presenting its first quarter state of profit or loss and auto compressive income for 2022. What period or periods is or are to be covered in the current interim period in this statement? A, May 1, 2022 to July 31, 2022. B, January 1, 2022 to March 31, 2022. C, February 1, 2022 to April 30, 2022. D, April 1, 2022 to June 30, 2022. E, May 1, 2022 to July 31, 2022 and November 1, 2021, to April 30, 2022. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number seven is A, May 1, 2022 to July 31, 2022. In presenting the current state of compressive income for an interim period, the periods covered are the period of the current quarter and that of the beginning of the current year to the end of the period covered. However, the first quarter in this case is the same period for the beginning of the year to the end of the same first quarter. A is the answer to question number seven. Question number eight. ADZ PLC has a December 31 accounting year end. It is to present its statement of compressive income for third quarter ending of 2023. What period or periods is or are to be covered in the current interim statement of compressive income? A, July 1, 2023 to September 30, 2023. B, July 1, 2023 to September 10, 2023, and January 1, 2023 to September 30, 2023. C, July 1, 2023 to September 30, 2023, and January 1, 2023 to June 30, 2023. D, July 1, 2023 to September 30, 2023, and October 1, 2022 to September 30, 2023. E, January 1, 2023, to September 30, 2023, and January 1, 2022, to September 30, 2022. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. The answer to question number eight is B, July 31, 2023 to September 30, 2023, and January 1, 2023 to September 30, 2023. The basis for this answer is as provided in the basis to the answer to question number six. B is answer to question number eight. Question number nine. A company is presenting its quarter ended September 30, 2022 in interim financial statements, and the company's accounting year end is March 31. What is the current period to be covered in the company's statement of cash flows for this interim reporting? A, July 1, 2022 to September 30, 2022. B, January 1, 2022 to March 31, 2022. C, April 1, 2022 to September 30, 2022. D, April 1, 2022 to June 30, 2022. E, October 1, 2022 to December 31, 2022. Time counts. Ten seconds gone.
Onde é que o Time up. The answer to question number nine is C, April 1, 2022 to September 30, 2022. For the current period, interim status of cash flows cumulatively covers for the current year to date. C is the answer to question number nine. Question number 10. DMX PLC is presenting its fourth quarter state of changes in equity for the quarter ended August 31, 2022. The current state of changes in equity reported in the Ethereum financial statements covers what period? A. June 1, 2022 to August 31, 2022. B. March 1, 2022 to May 31, 2022. C. January 1, 2022 to August 31, 2022. D. June 1, 2021 to August 31, 2021. E. September 1, 2021 to August 31, 2022. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. When the call is gone. Time up. The answer to question number 10 is E, September 1, 2021 to August 1, 2022. For a current period, interim state of changes in equity is cumulative for the current year to date. E is the answer to question number 10. That is all for this set. Thank you for joining us for the set one of IS34 Interim Financial Reporting. We invite you to subscribe to our channel, share our links, and invite those in your network to do the same. This will enable you and all other subscribers get direct notifications on future video uploads. We intend to cover all of the standards in this homework and create further sets of question and answer on standard already covered. Bye for now.